Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to show you the currently fastest large language model endpoint, which is there, the fastest inference endpoint. So this is their website. Uh, the company is called Grok. And in here, we have an option to use the playground. And I'm also going to show you afterwards how to do it in Python. So let's get started. At first, of course, in order to use it, you need to sign up for a free API key. It's currently free, so you can just register and you get it. And then you can use here the playground or, as I said, the Python API. So what Grok allows us to do is specify what kind of model we want to use. Currently, we have, in this case, these models which are supported, so the Llama 70 billion and also the mixture model in here. Currently, I'm using the mixture here. You can play around with different other settings like temperature, max tokens, and so on. So let's enter a prompt. I already did this here. Explain the meaning of life to me. And then let's just send this message and let's see how fast it is in comparison, for instance, to ChatGPT or any other kind of model out there. So let me just submit it. And here we are. As you can see, this is the response. And this was really blazing fast, right? So um, we didn't have to wait until the model just uh, calculates all the new tokens and so on. It really, it, the speed is incredible. So now let's also do this in Python so you can see how that would work. So here I already uh, opened my Visual Studio code and it's just a few lines of code. And you'll see that it's very, very similar to the ChatGPT endpoint for an OpenAI, for instance, or uh, GPT-4, whatever you want to use. So uh, let me just import a few modules, import OS. Uh, then I also want from in order to load my API key, which you can get for free, as I said, from, in this case, .env, I want to import my environment variables, so import load.env. Then I also import from grok. You need to install the grok library, so pip install grok. And if you do that, then you can uh, import uh, the client, so from grok, import grok, this one. And then let's also load the run variables, so load.env, okay. And now let's create the client. So client equals now grok, which is the client. And we specify the API key. So API key is equal to os.getenv, in this case, grok API key. So I specified the key there in this uh, in my .env file, so I can load it from here. Otherwise, you can also export it if you want to do this, or just use an import, anything like that. So now we have the client. And now uh, the same is true now for the completion. So again, it's completion, or whatever you want to name it, equals and then client.chat dot completions dot create. So you see, it's exactly like the jet GPT or the GPT API from OpenAI. So uh, let's do that, create, and then for the messages, we have messages again. And then in this case, I only want to use the user, but you can also specify a system message and uh, well, well, to prompt the system in a certain way. So row in this case is a user, so user, and then my question. So let's say content in this case, and this is equal to uh, here, explain how, let's say, LLMs work in Eli 5 terms, oh, terms, something like that, okay? So that's my question, and that's what I want to get. And then these are my messages, and now we need to specify the model. So model, as you have seen, there are different kinds of models. I'm going to use the mixture model, so let me just copy it uh, from there, so I don't need to uh, type equal to, and here I put it inside, like that. Okay, that's the mixture, uh, 8 times 7 billion. Of course, as I said, you can also see uh, on the website, you can also use the 70 billion llama model if you want to use that. Okay, so this is actually it. And now we just need to uh, actually call this. So let's say result and run it is equal to, and let's say completion uh, dot zero dot message and then dot content. So exactly the same way as uh, the OpenAI API. So now we have the results and now let's actually print those results. So we can see that also in the terminal print result. Okay, here we go. So that's basically it. So let me just save it for now. And then let's actually make our terminal a little bit bigger. And now let's run this. Now, in this case, um, Python and then grok inference, inference, and then of course I need to spell it correctly. So uh, uh, yeah, grok inference and now uh, in here dot pi. Okay, that's it basically. So let's do that. Uh, let me run it. And let's see, and here's the result, right? This was really, really fast, as you can see here. An animal legal language model is a type of artificial, and so on and so on. You can read through it if you want, but basically, this is it. Um, of course, it's a little bit out of the screen. Hopefully, you can see how, how quick that was, really. This was really, really fast. And that's actually the future. So this is how fast large language models need to respond uh, in real-time applications. And this is now possible already with Grok. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I want to say, try it out yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also share it to other people who are interested and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, then uh, maybe a, a little uh, FAQ at the end. Um, is Grok really for free? 
Well, uh, as I said, you can register for free, you can try this out yourself. Of course, you can, can't use it in production uh, for your whole system. This will not work, probably, right? Next question, um, can you use it with LangChain, so with the framework? Yes, you can. So there's already an implementation in LangChain. So if you want to use Grok in LangChain, you can also do that. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Until then, best guys.